Greetings lovely viewers! Back with another eagerly awaited video, we couldn't resist diving into the topic many of you have been clamoring for, Camila Cardoso. The unstoppable force propelling the South Carolina Gamecocks to new heights this season, she's become the talk of the town. Forget fearsome opponents, all eyes are on Cardoso, who's raised the bar set by legends like Angel Reese. With fame, fortune, online buzz, and trend setting in her wake, her story is one you won't want to miss. And let's not overlook her captivating beauty and remarkable physique. Sit tight and delve into the captivating journey of Camila Cardoso. Camila Cardoso is born and bred in Montes Claros in Brazil. She lived with her mom, Janet Suarez, and her sister, Jessica Silva. The small family developed strong bonds amidst the challenging environment of poverty, crime, and theft at Montes Claros. From an early age, she would play basketball in the streets of Montes Claros with her hood friends, mostly boys. She showed great ambition by being very competitive. In her school, she would amaze massive crowds that would always gather whenever her team was playing. But she had bigger dreams than exciting huge crowds back at her home. From a very young age, she had a vision of helping her society fight poverty by bringing the true basketball glory home. Her background did not deter her from achieving her dreams as her push for a scholarship to the USA finally gave in when she was just 13 years old. She now had a chance to go and play her basketball at the highest stage and possibly become a millionaire. But this opportunity came with many challenges attached to it. You can just imagine a 13-year-old girl coming to the USA for studies and the only words she knows in English are hello, bye, yes and no. Many immigrants are faced with the same barrier and most would end up in the streets. They always lose their way somehow from frustrations of little interactions. Fortunately for Cardoso, her guardian angel was there ready to play her part in Cardoso's journey to greatness. Coach Keisha Hunt of Hamilton Heights Christian Academy in Tennessee was the contact person for Camila Cardoso when she came to the country. She was told how good Cardoso was in playing basketball and video highlights of Cardoso's top plays were sent to her. Keisha Hunt almost immediately made a decision to accept her, but it was not for her to decide. She saw a huge potential in her and could almost see the next Brenna Stewart or Liz Cambage in Cardo So. The school's athletic director, name withheld, was the man to make a decision. He saw the clip shown to him by Keisha Hunt, but there was literally nothing to see. Most of Cardoso's highlights were about physique and speed, but little shooting and passing. He decided that she was not good enough, but Hunt pleaded for her, suggesting that her technical abilities could be worked on. The director finally gave way out of respect for Hunt, and a few days later, Camila Cardoso landed in the country, ready to conquer the game. As I said earlier, Camila Cardoso did not know English when she arrived in the country. She was often labeled bonkers in class, at her class, she would cry often as she remembered how she left her family back in Montes Claros. She knew that she had to get over it sooner or later. Lucky for her, Coach Keisha Hunt and her family hosted her in her first few years. Along with her in the same house were other teammates of hers who had no home. Cardoso found a new family far from home, where she could just be herself and cook some Latino food and play samba music. Away from that, Cardoso showed that she really meant business on the court. She easily got to be the number one pick in her team, making the athletic director of the school regret his sentiments on her. She averaged 24.1 points, 15.8 rebounds, 4.3 assists, and 9.2 blocks per game in her first year at Hamilton Heights. She was then made team captain. Her stellar performances were enough to earn her a place in the McDonald's All-American and Jordan Brand Classic honors. With hard work and determination, she increased her passing abilities and for once began dunking in games. She was rated a 5-star recruit by ESPN and a number of colleges were seeking for her recruitment. She finally settled for Syracuse despite receiving the Yukon Huskies and South California offers. 
For Syracuse, she was the highest rated recruit they ever had in their history, and she almost immediately became their star player. She broke records at Syracuse, including being their first ever player to win the ACC Freshman of the Year award. It was only a little while to go when she discovered that she could not reach her true potential in the game. Despite the love she received at Syracuse, she decided that it was time to move for a better challenge. She had placed herself on the transfer portal. Meanwhile, at Syracuse, she left behind a record of 13.6 points, 8 rebounds, and 2.7 blocks per game as a freshman. Coach Don Staley of the South Carolina Gamecocks was on the lookout for a stable center. Cardoso ticked all her boxes and she badly wanted to have her in the team. Don would comment, Camila is a perfect complement to our program. Coming from a traditionally rich grassroots program, her mobility, rebounding prowess, and scoring ability at her size is a rarity. At South Carolina, she found real competition. The team was already established and they had even reached the Final Four in their previous campaign. Cardoso could only help but not take over. In her first season at the Gamecocks, Cardoso only had 5.4 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 46 block shots. She was mostly benched by other competitive players like Aaliyah Boston. Coach Don Staley once said that Cardoso had personal issues regarding her family, hence the low start. The truth is that her dream was starting to fade away with the little game time she received. It only needed much more to bounce back. Her patience paid off when Aaliyah entered the WNBA. She now had a chance to shine and she grabbed it tightly. She is now the main star of a ruthless South Carolina team that no one in the college basketball wants to face. They are the team with the highest odds to win the national championship in the final four all because of players like Cardoso. We cannot forget to mention how blessed she was in 2020 when she helped Brazil win gold in FIBA America. She was named the MVP of the tournament. Something her fans love about her is her gorgeous smile she always shows in the basketball court. This has led to many wanting to know if she is dating or not. We can confirm that as of now Camila Cardoso is not dating any man as she has a goal that she is fully focused on to achieve. We wish her well in her career and may she achieve her goal to help the children of Montes Claros.